Hello and welcome to the winter campaign. Um, I'm in the dugout. I've just finished work as usual. Uh, I'm in the dugout. The first swim on a large lake. Uh, I ain't been in this swim for a while, long time. Um, yeah, it's normally busy. Normally everyone's in the, in the swim. Um, I popped past on Wednesday and there was people in here. Uh, no one else on the lake. Um, so I was uh, surprised to be uh, to be able to get on here really. Uh, no one else on the lake, uh, I'm the only one at the moment, but I'm sure it'll fill up a little bit, it's not going to be too cold tonight. Um, this is actually part four of the winter campaign. Uh, I did part three a couple of weeks ago, and I'll show you what happens there. Hello and welcome to part three of the winter campaign. Uh, as usual, I've just finished work. Um, whipped over my local lakes. Um, whipped down to the uh, Astros swim. I don't really fish this one very often, but it's the other side of the, the other lake, so it's the road side. Um, yeah, I don't do it very often. Uh, I haven't had much lucky out of here, to be honest with you. But last session, uh, I, I did see some fish jumping over this side, and so. And looking around, there's been a few swirls and uh, some bubbles coming up, so hopefully they're still here. And I mean, hold on. Well, well, expecting that. Rods have only been in the water an hour, and I've got the first one at a session. Uh, a lovely little mirror. Let's have a quick look at it. Yeah. Lovely mirror. Look at that. Let's get it out and have a way. Well, what can I say? An owl that took a beautiful mirror. I've been catching commons for quite a while on you. A beautiful mirror, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's like a block of ice. It's only eight pound, but I don't care. It's beautiful. So the other side. Look at it. Lovely. Let's get it back and I'll show you what I've got caught here. So yeah, here's the rig I used. Uh, first time I'm using them, never used them before. Uh, but I got some from DSD Tackle. So, two pieces of artificial cord. Just stuck on a, um, a wide gape, size six, beak point hook. Excellent, look old. Uh, yeah, well chuffed. Look at that, beautiful. Still shot. Uh, yeah, short bit of, short bit of, uh, Hook link down to a. I've got a, a flat voodoo leads lead there, sits in the bag, all in a solid bag. Yeah, I'm well chuffed with the uh, the corn. Um, I've got another bag made up, but that's got a wafter in it. I'll get nothing like that. I'm gonna get back on a corn. Yeah, I'm well chuffed. It's only been in the water now. Good old DSD. Uh, yeah, glad I've got them now. Brilliant. Right, so. Uh, before of what I was trying to say before uh, I was uh, interrupted by the first fish of the session, um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cold today. Uh, it's, it's about five degrees now. It's going to drop down to about one. Uh, so I've bought my winter gear, my my two-piece suit. Um, yeah, so I can count that as a proper winter carp. It was absolutely freezing. That water was like ice. Um, yeah, but well chuffed to get one so quick. Uh, yeah, first session using the old DSD tackle. 
brilliant as well. I'll tell you on the first five minutes, yeah, excellent. Uh, the artificial cold works a treat. I've got, I made four bags up. Uh, three of them I got wafters in. Um, the, the first one I used as a bit of artificial cold. I just keep saying it, but it's done the trick. Done the trick in an hour. Um, yeah. So I forget nothing. Um, I've just put another bag out with a with a wafter in. If I don't get anything off that in the next couple of hours, I'll just chuck the cone back out. Yeah, well chuffed. Um, I'll show you me my other rigs in a little while. I've used the, um, I've changed all my rigs up because I've, I've got the order of a uh, tackle in from DSD um, over the moon with it. Uh, couldn't wait to start using it, so glad to be here. But yeah. You can tell by the breath, uh, it's getting chilly. First proper winter session, the last two haven't been winters really. It's been warm. Uh, now, it's getting a bit chilly. Uh, it's going to start getting dark very soon. Um, beautiful sunset over the back there. Can't really see it now. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll keep you updated with what's going on. I'm going to get another cup of tea on because I missed half of that one. To show you where I'm fishing before it gets too dark. I've got the two rods there. I've got the left hand rod, it's sucked up into those reeds there, uh, about a couple of foot off the reeds there. Uh, the right hand rod, if you can see the island there, uh, yeah it's in that channel. I normally fish the other side of the lake, where the, uh, the other side of that fountain, and I do tend to get one from that channel, especially at night, so I'm hoping that one, that one will do me a bite at night. Uh, and I've got the single rod there, which just done me the bite. And it's about a rod length off the back of those reeds there. So yeah, that's where that's where I've just dead the fish from. So that's where I'm fishing. Hopefully, I'll get another one soon. Keep you updated. Right, quick update. Uh, the two rods on me on my left there. Uh, totally wiped out by a load of geese really helpful uh, so I've just had to redo them I've redone the uh, solid bag over by the reeds I've put the uh, pop-up comb back on so I'm hoping fingers crossed that'll do me another bite uh, it's now pitch black it's ten past five and it's absolutely freezing I've had to put my big coat on I'll stick some gloves on him my fingers are going numb um, yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna get some grub on soon as well, so if I don't see you during the night, I'll uh, I'll see you in the morning. Right, it's now only eight o'clock. It's uh, it's got a bit cold. That's me net. Solid as a rock, look. <laughs> Absolutely frozen. <sighs> oh yeah. It's going to be a lovely night. Good morning. Uh, yeah, the, the fog's come in. Freezing cold. Uh, no action during the night. Well, no fish during the night. But, um, Caught past five. I did have a run, uh, but by the time I got there, uh, struck into it, there was nothing on the end of it. But I was sort of awake, sort of, so uh, and I could hear loads of birds uh, over that side. So I'm thinking a coots picked it up and just ran with it, or or something. Uh, just have a quick chat with a bloke over there. He um, he hooked a coot yesterday somehow. He picked up his bait. Um, and then hooked his foot so we had to pull it in, cover it in a blanket and uh, get the hook out and send it back. But yeah, I'm I'm thinking it was a it was a bird rather than a fish. But yeah, never mind. I've just redone the rods. Um, just having a cup of tea. I've got a few hours left, it's about eight o'clock. I'm not going till about twelve ish. Well I'll pack up a little bit earlier than that I think, but yeah, a few hours, see what the day brings. Well, it's getting on a bit now, it's half ten. I've just redone the rods. Uh, give it another hour and a half. Uh, I'll be packing up and shooting off home. Uh, 
Yeah, it's still absolutely freezing. Uh, I'm getting all the ice off me retainer sling and me landing, uh, me unhooking mat. Uh, yeah, just settling up there. Uh, nothing else, no other indications. There's been some fizzing. Uh, I've just moved one into a spot where a bit of fizzing has come up, so see what happens. I've got all the, the bag in the right place, so give it an hour and a half. Uh, if I don't have anything, yeah. If I don't have anything, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, if I do, I'll see you with a fish. Yeah, so that was part three. Um, just the one beautiful little mirror, uh, eight pound. I was just saying uh, that the the swim wasn't very lucky for me, and then all of a sudden the rod ripped off, which was which was uh, quite a shock at the time. But yeah, bonus. So yeah, just the one for the fish for that session. Uh, not a lot of footage, but yeah, I'm back. I'm back for that part four. So hopefully, a bit more uh, footage for the fish. Sorry, I'm getting blinded at the moment. The sun's come right out in my. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll get something. Uh, the water level's quite low at the moment. Um, they've done a and they've done a netting on the lake next door, um, and it's all interjoined. So they lowered the water levels to. Be able to do the netting better. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's kept this like a little bit low now. So yeah, we'll see. Be fun playing a fish if I have one. Yeah, I've had the uh, rods out for about an hour now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move them about little different areas. I'm not gonna pick on the one area. If I see anything, even the slightest bit of movement, I'm gonna I'm gonna chuck a rod on it. Um, I'll find some spots. Uh, just before it gets too dark to, to be able to see properly the cast, but for a little while I've got I think I've got about two hours of sunlight left. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move them around a little bit and see if I can catch one sneaking around. So yeah. I'll get back to you if I'll get any any footage, any fish. Uh, we'll have a catch up in a little bit. Oh yeah, as you can see it's getting quite dark now. Um it's on. It's only quarter past five, but yeah, sun's setting over the back there. Uh, I've finally done the rods for the night. Uh, got them on three spots. Um, it's a bit dark to show you now. I've had a bit of issues getting them out, but uh, I've been moving about the rods for the last couple of hours. Um, no liners, no nothing. All I've had is uh, coots picking me bait up. Uh, yeah, I've had to redo them several times because of the coops, but hopefully they've all gone for the night. Uh, yeah, I haven't had any liners or anything, no shows, no nothing, so uh, they might all be up the other end of the lake, I don't know. Might be a bit deeper down there because uh, the water's uh, really shallow down here. I think I might have made a mistake staying here, but I'm set up now, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I want to get some grub on. <laughs> Uh, watch a bit of the old Netflix. Uh, hopefully I'll see you during the night with a fish. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Here we go, call to 11. First one in the net. Lovely looking common. Oh, let's get out and have a look. There you go. Wasn't expecting that, but there. Yeah. Just giving it a quick way. 12 pound on the nose. Lovely looking fish. See how it get out. 12 pounds, biggest fish I've had for a long time, to be honest. Isn't it? Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, still lively. Beautiful fish, that. Pristine. Show the other side. Oh, it's absolutely freezing. Yep. Look at that. 
That is beautiful. There are some pearls in this lake, but it's in Grave. I'm well happy with that. 12 pounds. Beautiful. Yeah. Let's get it back, see if we can get another one. Well, good morning, guys. Yeah, uh, just getting me head down last night, uh, about quarter to 11, I think it was. Yeah, just getting me head down, and my left hand rod ripped off. Yeah, lovely surprise that was. Um, beautiful 12 pound common, uh, pristine, it looked lovely. Uh, unfortunately, that was it for the night, though. Um, I had a couple of bleeps on my right hand, my single rod on the right. Um, yeah, but nothing's come of that. Uh, I've redone the rods this morning um, and literally like five minutes ago a coot has just picked up my rig, um, rig and somehow hooked itself in the leg so I've just had to pull that in uh, reel it in, get it to the bank um, grab it and unhook it which weren't fun but these things happen uh, so I've had to redo that one again but yeah um, there's no signs of anything at the moment I've not had any more bleeps or any more indications there's, I've seen nothing, but I've got a couple of hours left. Uh, I'm gonna have a cup of tea, put some breakfast on, and I'll give you an update in a little while. Right, well, just a quick update. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock, the sun is really bright. Um, I've had nothing on any of the rods, obviously, no fish. Um, I've just seen uh, one show at the far side along the reeds, so I've just put two rods, one either side of the wheel, I'll see it show. Um, hopefully that'll bring something in the next couple of hours, but it's all I've got to go on at the moment. It's the only thing I've seen since I got here yesterday. Uh, yeah, so it's about 10 o'clock, I'm going to start having a slow pack up. Uh, I've got stuff trying out already. Uh, yeah. Um, what I did do yesterday, uh, just tried a little bit of uh, underwater Footage. Um, just showing how the rigs were sitting on the on the bank on the um, deck of the lake. So I'm going to put that on now. Hopefully uh, the pictures come out okay. Uh, if not, I'll try again later. But the water is crystal clear at the moment, and it's so shallow. I can get down there and um, get on the bed of the lake. So I'll give it a go. See if it comes out. If not, then I'll try again later. But um, Again, if I don't have any more fish by then, uh, by the end, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, I hope you liked and liked it. Please subscribe if you did. Um, yeah, thanks again. If I don't see you with a fish, I'll see you on the next video. Right, the first one. This is my solid bag. I've just a second chucked that in. Um, it's very cold water as well, so it is. It's. Uh, I thought it'd take a little bit longer to dissolve this, but it's doing quite well. Um, it comes down. I always put holes in the bag so the air comes out a bit easier as well, which makes it better. And you just see the uh, the little waft that pop up. That's presented perfectly. That is. I'm well happy with that. That's better than I, I thought it would have come out. To be honest. Uh, here's the next one, which is my um, snowman rig. Basics, blowback snowman rig, tungsten tube in there. Um, 
I haven't laid it in the water very well to be honest. I was right by the edge and it's on some rocks, but um yeah, there's a lead set up. I'll just pull over and you can hardly see the stealth the stealth hook link, that's brilliant stuff. But uh, yeah, the snowman's sitting there lovely. Tungsten tubing going to the end. It is sticking up because I've got the rod up, but yeah, it looks good under water. And the last one is my um, choddy, which I haven't actually caught on yet, but I've got a 15 mil on there at the moment, that's why it's sticking up a little bit. Normally stick to the 12, but I think I will do next one. 